we've made it. Welcome to the moving vlog. We're here. It is finally moving day and I look rough because I did not sleep well at all. But we are here and it is time to start moving. My entire life is packed up in boxes and it's gonna go quick, so. <sighs> Lots to do. I'm ready for this part to be over, but we're in a good place. I'm excited. I, I'm happy. We're very, we're organized. Oh, <laughs> Nemo. And we're in a good place, so that's good. But first, I need to have my coffee. myself Matt just left to meet the movers and it's been a pretty go 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 morning we brought little Nemo cat over we're gonna do our best to keep him calm kind of wish that trouble was here just because trouble really helps him with his anxiety when he sees that trouble is okay and she's brave it helps him really come out of his shell so a little worried about that but we're okay right now Matt is off to the movers and I was gonna give my key card and my key for the mailbox and then I was like I didn't even take in that that was the last time that I was going to be in that apartment and I got really sad and I was like no I I need to go back I need to fully say goodbye to the place say goodbye to the space because so many good memories and I really really do love the place so this is what we've got so far we just moved so the island actually moves which is super awesome so we moved it out of the the way so there's lots of space so far we just brought Matt's computer and then we have like backpacks and our artwork this is going to be the new bedroom <sighs> it's crazy it's crazy that we're here it's crazy how much this place already feels like home and I can't wait to decorate it to make it feel even more like home and uh, I can just feel it in my bones it's gonna be a really good chapter. <sighs> I'm already feeling so exhausted. We did so much before we got here, and like I said earlier, but I got no <laughs> sleep. It was not fun, but I have some time to just chill, and I'm thinking I might actually go downstairs and grab myself an iced coffee because I'm feeling it. I kinda wish I had my pillows and stuff so I could take a mini nap, but I mean, I could just fall asleep on the floor. I am that tired. <sighs> just been patiently waiting for the word that the movers are coming to this place. There's also nothing really for me to unpack here, so everything's kind of out of the way. There's enough space for when the movers do come, but just patiently waiting. <laughs> Maybe I should go get the elevator, actually. I'm not gonna f Oh! Hmm. Just got a text of how much is left. Oh, I don't wanna cry, but like, I just... It's so crazy. I'm <sighs> definitely... It's just a picture and I'm already getting emotional. I know that when I go there and see the apartment empty, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot. I think I'm going to go down and talk to the front desk about the elevator just to make sure that's all organized for when they get here. But um, I'm not going to film when the movers are here just because privacy reasons and it's probably going to be hectic. Honestly, I think I'm just going to want to focus on Nemo Cat and the move. So I'll probably see you when everything is here. So it's 
the next day. As soon as the movers got here, it was go, go, go. By the time everything was done, we were so hungry and honestly just wanted to unpack the things that we absolutely needed and then go to bed. So <laughs> that is what we did. We ordered from our favorite Italian restaurant for dinner, which we are now closer to. I also was going to have a shower last night, but I was so tired. I just passed out. So the first thing I did was have a shower in the new place, clean off the old place. It's time to just settle in. I have a lot of work that needs to be done. Obviously, as you can see, there's there's mayhem. You can only see a little bit, but there it's mayhem. I'm just going to enjoy my morning coffee, maybe watch some RuPaul, and then the work begins. I put on some comfy clothes because it is time to get to work. I have a lot to do, let me, oh my gosh. There's so much work to do, it's a little overwhelming, but this, is the state of the apartment. Oh my gosh. So you can see there's lots that needs to be done. The bedroom is probably, don't mind my bed. I didn't make it because I'm going to be doing laundry. The closet is in a state, but I have a lot to do and I think the first thing that I want to do is wash the bed sheet and then I'm just going to buckle down and start working. Nemo has found himself. Let me show you. This is little Nemo's spot. <laughs> For now, I think he finds comfort there because he would sleep on this at the old place and so would Trouble. So it probably smells like his sister. So he's finding some comfort there, huh? But he's definitely doing better now that obviously there's no strangers coming in and out of our apartment. I think that's the scariest thing for him. I mean, he will of course get used to the new space, the new home, but when strangers are here, it really scares him. He doesn't like new people. So now that the movers are gone and gone for good, I think he'll just start getting used to it. But, but for now, I'm going to strip the bed and just get to work. I can't wait to dig into. It's just leftovers from yesterday. I think the plan is to start in the bedroom.
Isn't it crazy how everyone, and I mean every single person, you're good. Every single person and their mom is talking about Colleen right now. I feel like there's been dramas for a long time. There's always like some kind of drama going on. But like, I feel like this is some, like people who have nothing in common, like I mean nothing at all in common, know about this. I would hate to be Colleen right now. But also, gross. The apartment is starting to look like a home. We still have this right here to take care of, of course, but so far, this is the living room so far. Got the couch together. The cat tree is too short. We definitely need to get a new one, but there's that so far. TV. What we're going to do is just get a wall mount for this TV, put in a maintenance request and they mount the TVs for us. So that will be great. I'm gonna put it up on this wall so that everything isn't so low and it will just look better when it's mounted. And then we can organize this better, probably put some stuff on top, nice little decorations. I'm thinking of doing different in this place because in the other apartment above the couch, were those shelves but I think I want to put artwork there and then put the shelves in the bedroom I'm not too sure yet but this is Matt's little setup that's his office space couldn't put all his movies together which he's a little sad about but that's okay we're actually thinking we need new movie shelves because he has quite the collection we're thinking of getting really tall and skinnier shelves so that he could put his movies up but also add to his collection and then and putting the other one here again tall we have such tall ceilings in here so I think that's the best bet I've got this here I just put things that we barely use at the very top it's a work in progress so all of this stuff obviously we can flip around see what we like see what works what doesn't Pots and pans, like, if anybody knows how to organize pots and pans, please let me know because, like, this is the best I could do for now, but, like, I wish there was a way where you can organize it where you don't have to take literally everything out to get what you want. Again, work in progress, we'll see. And then the lids I have separate, I'll show that later. This is our snack cupboard. It's actually, like, you can see pretty far back there. I'm thinking of getting like little bins and little 
cubes to put in here so we can organize it better, keep like items together. This is a wine fridge, but we don't really drink, so I just filled it with sparkling cranberry and I have a bubbly here and these are like alcohol free beers that we got in our hello fresh so coffee section here got the glasses mugs anything cup related really is here this the main attraction let me back all the way up so you can see it in its full glory is a full-size fridge the other apartment only had a condo size fridge, which Matt and I had no idea that that's what we were getting. When we moved in, that was the first time we saw the size of the fridge. When we went to view the unit, it was a mock-up. It was, the building was not finished construction yet. We saw just kind of like what the unit will look like, but not the actual unit. So it was a surprise because when we first went to see the place, it was a full-size fridge and then when we got there it was a condo size fridge so that was not fun but this is our beautiful woo, beautiful fridge this is the bedroom don't mind the balcony we have stuff we're selling out there and then that box is our balcony furniture which i can't wait to put together <laughs> of course more of matt's movie collection this bedroom is so much bigger than the other one one when we got into the apartment the room was much smaller than we anticipated we were told the other place that it could fit a queen size bed and then two nightstands i highly doubt that we have a double size bed and that like just fit in there it was just enough walking room to walk around this has like i can fully walk around this bookshelf is just temporary for now and also this we just have the dresser in here for now because we have to get the tv mounted we do have a wall mount wall mount for that we just have to put in a maintenance request for that and the dresser is going to go brace yourself for this because it's definitely the least organized the walk-in closet which there's so much stuff this is it's there's so much this is where we're thinking of putting the dresser oh little sneaky this is where we're planning on putting the dresser obviously when we have this more organized i just threw things up there there's still so much space like there's all these cubbies here space up there all these cubbies here too and then this here so there's so much space this is where the laundry is the laundry in the closet is actually so convenient oh and there is so through the closet is the bathroom and then there's also another door to the front entrance really really love the space and the bathroom first of all love the shower the shower just looks so like clean and uh, i love it that's the apartment so far. Really liking the space. It already feels homey. And it's been so go, go, go for the past couple days. And the amount of dust that was in the other place as well. And just, I mean, there was a water leak. So there possibly could have been mold that we were also breathing in. Matt, he has asthma. His breathing was has been very difficult for him when we were living there. I sound nasally myself just because like my sinuses have been just so inflamed and full of dust so and even oh my gosh like the last night that we were there too I, I said I didn't sleep well Matt didn't sleep well it was so difficult for us to breathe it really felt like like something was on my chest and I just my breathing was so labored it was so difficult so I'm happy to be out of that situation I can hear a little Nemo cat climbing out of his spot in the closet 
<laughs> so cute. That's the moving vlog. There's definitely going to be more to come. Matt and I leave for Montreal in less than a week, so we just have to pack for that. Pack up our clothes that we just unpacked for that, but that will be the next vlog will be Montreal. So I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.